Hey everybody, today we're going to be having guided meditation for a sense of peace and calm. Have you ever gone fishing, fishing at night in a small boat that you borrowed from your neighbor Tom? Tom is a nice man. He lives alone and he loves outdoor activities. He's always offering to let you borrow things. So it didn't feel awkward to ask if you could borrow his small boat to go night fishing in a lake just outside of town. He was happy to let you take his boat. He offered you fishing gear, flotation devices, even offered to make you dinner that night so you could take it with you. A big thermos of soup, he said. My grandma's recipe. Peanut butter soup. You'd never heard of peanut butter soup before, but you didn't want to be rude, so you accepted his offer. And now you're out on the lake in Tom's little boat, sipping a piping hot cup of peanut butter soup. It doesn't taste good, but it's the thought that counts. You're pretty sure that the only ingredients are peanut butter and salt water. But you drink it down and you put some bait on your hook and you cast out into the water. Nobody else is on the lake. It's quiet. And the sky's filled with stars. The moon is nowhere to be seen. Where could it be? Ah, it doesn't matter. You sit in this small boat while the water laps against the sides. And you feel calm. Forget about the difficult day you had at work today. Your boss was over an hour late. They said it was because of traffic. But the front of their car was dented. And you knew that they had hit their gate again. They live in a nice apartment complex that you've driven by many times. It's gated. And you knew that your boss had run into the gate while trying to leave. Because he's just too impatient for the gate to open up all the way. And he tries to squeeze through as it's opening. Usually it's fine, but today he hit the gate. So he was in a bad mood and an hour late, and he was taking it out on you. Yelling at you that this report that was due on his desk that morning wasn't there. And you explained to him that he never assigned you a report that was due this morning. But he wouldn't listen. He demanded that you have the report on his desk by the end of the day. 
or he would beat you up in front of everybody. You're no fighter. And he's six foot six and almost 700 pounds. You wouldn't have a chance against him in a fight. So you set aside all of your other tasks you had planned for the day. And you started working on this report that you had just heard about only a few minutes prior. Luckily, you're smart and a fast worker. So you managed to complete the report and submit it to him just after lunch. He wouldn't even look at you when you entered his office. He just mumbled, put it on my desk. So that's what you did, and you left, closing the door behind you. You went back to your desk, and you looked through the list of tasks that you had not done today because of this report. And you thought, Oh, it doesn't matter. This can wait until Monday. Because it was Friday. So instead of doing the tasks you had planned on doing, you watched videos on the internet. And the videos made you smile and feel good. because the videos were about plants that grew in deserts. So you spent two and a half hours watching one video about sagebrush and another video about a little cactus that only ever grows three or four inches tall. And it doesn't have spines that might hurt you if you touched it. It just has little soft hairs. And if you were in the desert and you came upon this tiny cactus, you could brush its hair with a little brush if you had one on you. And the cactus wouldn't mind, not one bit. You learned that in the video you watched. And you felt wiser and more enriched for having watched it. But now you're in the boat Tom's boat in the middle of the lake floating on at least 100 gallons of water. It's hard to judge how much water is in a lake. So you don't even try. You just know that it's at least 100 gallons. You've been out here now for almost two hours. There's not much wind, and you brought a long sleeve tee, so you're not feeling cold. The fish aren't biting, but that's no problem. You dumped a lot of the peanut butter soup into the water and you worried that that had either scared or poisoned the fish. But now you don't mind. It's just nice to be out here on this boat at night, alone. It's nice to be somewhere quiet without people around. 
it's nice to be surrounded by liquid. You wish that you were on this boat in the ocean rather than on this lake, but not a scary part of the ocean. One of the nice parts that you might see on a postcard. Shallow blue water and a beach not too far away with a couple of palm trees and a little glass hut. And inside that glass hut is a grass hut. And inside that grass hut is a little old lady selling milkshakes that she made herself. And when you order a milkshake and take your first sip, you can't believe how delicious it is. You've never tasted a milkshake so delicious. And you tell her that. And she smiles and says, thank you. And says, move along. Because a line is formed behind you. And she has to serve them their milkshakes. She's running a business. She's got 15 hungry mouths to feed at home. No, not children. Lizards, of course. Big black and green iguanas. And they need to eat a lot. So you apologize to her and get out of the way so that the other patrons can order their milkshakes and so she can afford to feed her 15 hungry iguanas. And you take the rest of your milkshake and get back in your boat and paddle away from the beach two, three hundred feet at most. And you watch the thirsty people enjoying their milkshakes on the beach. And they watch you and your boat enjoying yours. <laughs>